Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are back here in the sort of South Elden area. Last episode, we got what was basically the last Geoglyph memory done, and we also explored around the stable, got another side quest done. Now we are heading to the Southeast where we have our last tower, our last memory located down this way. There's so much we gotta get up to, but before we get too far into it, I wanted to cook up some more food um, so that we can maybe lead the dogs to treasure. The dogs can lead us to treasure, because that's what that one character was really alluding at, and it has me very curious. So, I'll we'll find some raw meat first. I do have some right here, so I just wanna hold raw prime meat and cook it one at a time, I think. There you go. Oh, that makes the meat, meat skewer still. I don't think I can drop food like this. Yeah, so that's not how I wanna do it. I guess I could just go to here and just make my own campfire then. Hold that, go over here, get that, drop it. Please don't go too far. Oh my goodness. Thanks, game. <laughs> the slightest incline. All right, we'll do it over here. Try that again. Luckily, I have plenty of both. So, not that. Uh, decrease. There we go. Uh, get that there. Make the fire really quickly and just try to cook up this meat. Just that way we can make sure these pups are happy. Drop that there. And that should cook up the most of it. One over here, right? Or it's, it's still cooking. Takes a second. There it goes. So we got ourselves some seared gourmet steak, the highest quality gourmet meat, just kissed by an open flame. No additional seasonings have been added, which lets the natural flavor of the meat really shine, as well as the seared prime steak. So we'll probably do the seared prime steak first. Just walk over here to the dogs and offer to them to see if they want that. Uh, so it'd be right over here. So how do I, oh, can I not hold this and drop it? I thought I could. Uh. Maybe I can't, but I tried to offer them the other food before and that didn't work either. Okay, I'm really lost. I thought I had to offer them food. Hey guys, here you can have that. They don't want it. Oh, no, there, there, there they go. They just needed some more time. Okay. How'd you like it? That was some good stuff too. So I hope you guys really like those gourmet meat. Uh, will they guide me to food or treasure? Do they need more food? All right. There you go. All yours. One of you have gotta have something good for me. Sooner or later, right? Uh, oh, come on. There's gotta be something. They've all eaten at least once. Now they want belly rubs. I wish I could, but the game doesn't let me. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll actually decrease all of that. Maybe I could do this instead. There we go. Drop all these. Eat up, friends. If this doesn't work, maybe I'll come back later because <laughs> I don't know. It seems a little weird. Um, they're eating it up. But still nothing. All right, let me talk to you. There's got to be a reason. Hi. Hey, hey, traveler. Just a bit ago over at Full Hill Stable, where I work, there was a, this group of guys hanging out there in their undershorts, no joke. Good news is, they're all gone now. I'm sure someone gave them a good talking to and chased them off. I really gotta thank whoever that, that someone is. Anyway, thank goodness I can look after the doggies without getting an eyeful. You bet. First thing to know is dogs are the cutest, but that's not all on top of their cuteness. They also have an amazing ability, lead you to treasure. You need to befriend them and feed them. Uh. Okay, if you need a place to stand in the morning, I don't know, it didn't work. Maybe I had to feed them more, but that was a lot of food for them not to really give me anything. So maybe we will continue at some point, but I do know that there is something over on the other side of this cave that I wanted to check out. There were some other travelers or something. They had a tent set up with some smoke coming out of it, and I was just really curious to see what the deal is with that. So I'm gonna check that out, and we'll continue making our way over to the new regen, because there's too much going on there to worry about this stuff for too long. I might take the bridge across, too, because I noticed that there is a uh, a shrine way up there. I would love to get to that. Yeah, it's you two. Hey, guys. How are there so many? Uh, <sighs> I really thought we'd found it, too. Uh, who knows how long it would take to open all those one by one. My arms are tired just thinking about it. And every single chest we open, we find the same thing. A Korean rupee. It's like they're messing with us. Hmm? Shh, Prison, hush up. Uh? You again. You're the guy from before. Don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? I think we didn't meet you guys before. 
What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You came to this cave to find Misko's treasure too. Uh? Prison, don't just say that. Shh. Uh. Ugh, I mentioned Misko's treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Doc. Misko's treasure? Uh? Don't get any bright ideas. If you're planning on swooping in and snagging it, think again. Uh. Don't worry, Doc. With all those treasure chests in there, there's no way he'll ever find Misko's treasure. We've got nothing to worry about. Uh. Hmm. You got a point. Yeah, yeah, okay. Listen up, you. You've got our permission to go into that cave. If seasoned treasure hunters like us couldn't find it, you're not about not about to fare any better. <laughs> not unless you've got a nose like a dog's and can sniff out the treasure. Oh. oh, I see. That's it, Dak. Let's give a dog some food or something to get it to like us, and then it'll lead us to the treasure. Huh? I was being sarcastic, Prison. Uh. Sorry, Dak. <laughs> so this is what we need the dogs to help us out with, Misko's Cave of Chests. You found treasure hunting brothers Domadak and Prison perplexed in front of the cave. It seems they came seeking Misko's treasure but found more than they bargained for. The cave has so many treasure chests, whoops. <laughs> the cave has so many treasure chests that they don't know which one holds the treasure they seek. Well, maybe that's what I can do. Uh, there's no way we'll ever open all those treasure chests. Oh. Hey, you eavesdropping over there. You think you can find it? Then you better think twice. We're having trouble, and we're pros. If only one of us had a nose like a dog, then we could sniff out the treasure. Oh. That's it, Dak. Let's give a dog some food or something to get it to like us. Okay, huh? so uh. we can definitely do that. I think we do need to sleep until morning, and there's a little dog over here. So maybe we need to make you happy. And maybe it doesn't just have to be a specific kind of food. So I'm gonna do that. We'll take a rest until morning. Yep. And I don't know if cooking it, would the dog come over and eat it? Would that be better? It's a blood moon. All right, cool, skipping that. <laughs> I don't think any monsters will pop up over here, but there's gotta be something I can do to make this dog love us. Even if it is just showering it in food. So one thing I do wanna experiment with then is going over here and if I were just to cook some food, where's all the meat at? Right down here. If I were just to cook some food, would the dog walk over? I would hope so. That's gonna cook it. Wait, don't eat it yet. It's cooking, it's cooking. That's it's way too hot to eat it. Uh. Okay, now go for it. Come on, all yours, friend. Eat up. Oh no, oh, oh okay, it's gonna burn. Don't want that. So I, I guess they won't, but don't worry, because I can just give you some of this. Come on, all yours. Do you want it? They don't seem interested. Uh, maybe not hungry? Come on, here you go. That's it. Delicious, right? Okay, and another one. Eat up, friend. And you can see, you know, they're happy about it. See, what if I toss something? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was supposed to be like a go fetch kind of deal. You know what, I need to find a stick. So, I'm sorry about that, uh, but. Can knock over a tree. This is this seriously not gonna knock over the tree. Uh, do I have just like a normal sword then? Let's try the, the Flux Core 3 Smasher. These trees are unbreakable. Uh, okay, I wanna try one more time with a different sword. Uh, the Royal Claymore. There we go. Jeez, ridiculous. I mean, the other thing still has an edge to it, so you would think, that that give me any kind of stick? Not really. So I wanted to cut, knock over a couple of these to see if I can't just like have them fetch a stick. Because you know, playing with them would be an engaging thing. Okay, here we go, here we go. So I need to drop a weapon, I guess for now. I'll just drop this thing. Um, no, come on. Uh, drop it. Tree branch. Hey buddy, I'm so sorry for scaring you earlier. It wasn't my intention. But look, I got a stick. I, I'm so sorry. Is that what I wanted to do? There. This dog does not like me anymore. I'm so sorry. Do I just, have I ruined my chances of ever getting this now? I have no clue. Uh, I would just try give it, you can have whatever food you want. Okay, buddy? This dog despises me and for good reason now. Do I just want to take a nap? I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay, the dog has stopped barking. Hold, hold, drop. All yours, come on. They are not even interested. Ooh, this is not good, come on. Oh yeah, that's right, if I run around, do you want to go in circles or like, you know, play with your tail? They're happy, but.
We need more than just that, right? Come on, come on. I think if we run in circles, they'll eventually do the same. Or maybe if we just do this. I can't remember. You'd think they would, okay, see, are you interested now? You look like you perked up a little bit, but I guess not. What if I have you come over here? Like maybe you're already happy enough with me. Nope, just walks away. This pup is hard to please. Oh, here we go. After feeding them enough food, it looks like we're doing something. Did you find something, buddy? I think you did. All right, well, I'm following you. There's gotta be some treasure in here and hopefully no monsters. There are, I will probably just, just defend you. But we got a discovery, the Cephla Lake Cave here in Elden Canyon. Let's go ahead and get some battling weapons ready just in case we need it. I'm hoping we won't, but you never know. I mean, there are some open treasure chests as you can see, but hopefully this dog will be ready to sniff out whatever we actually need to find. Uh, Maybe, come on, keep going, keep going. I don't know if I'll have to feed them more along the way but there are quite a lot of treasure chests. Most of them already open. I think I want to take us too much time. Okay, you can go first, I'm following you. <laughs> this is so cute, but also a little time consuming. And there's a couple even sort of buried under the dirt too. Whoa, is it that one? <laughs> it looks like it's this one. Watch out, watch out. Ooh, so what does this have? This has Misko's treasure in it? It does have the Ember Trousers, which has hot weather attack. Used in ancient rituals, this item is made of heat absorbing cloth that produces flame in high temperature environments. Wow. Whoa, hey, what'd you do? Sorry, I found the treasure. No way, there are like a million chests in here. How did you do that? Okay, yeah, we tailed you, I admit it, but we never thought you'd actually find it. We've been hunting treasure for long enough to know the rules. Finders, keepers. We're not going to try to take it from you. Uh. Yeah, no matter how cool it is. So jealous. Any treasure left in there? You know what? I'm going to look for myself out of the way. Nope. I already found it. Hmm. Treasure, you in there? Aha! Uh -huh. Whoa! Uh. Oh, darn. It's just a regular old bottle. Oh. That's no regular bottle. It has a clue in there. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, Prison. Let's go find ourselves another cave. Ah! You got it, Dak. So Misko's Cave of Chests completed. You navigated the sea of treasure chests to find the one chest that contained the real treasure. In it, you found the ember trousers and a bottle with a letter inside. Meanwhile, brothers Dominic and Prison gave up and left. Cool. So what does this say? To, who you have, to you who have found my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule, notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one, and I will reward you with a hint to another, the Fierce Deity Sword. Dawn the form of the Fierce Deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's Red Crown Citadel, one in the skull's left eye, one in an old stump in Hyrule Field. Good luck, the great bandit Miska. Whoa, Miska's treasure, the fierce deity. The message from the bandit Miska said, don the form of the fierce deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need, one beneath the bedchamber of, of Akala's red crown citadel, one in the skull's left eye, one in an old stump in Hyrule Field. Solve the riddle to find the treasure. And I'm thinking that's what this big wall over here is. Maybe if we find all those things, we can come back to this location and whatever this is will open up. That would be so exciting. So if there's one more thing I wanna do in this area, I guess it would be finding the the bubble gem frog, but it might also be behind that door. So I don't know if it's too worth it to explore around too much more, but maybe on my way out, I'll just sort of scout the area just to see. Hmm. Oh wait, up here. Yeah, there's gotta be something cool. There you are. So I'll go ahead and whoop, miss you. Whoa, there you go. That should do the trick, right? Awesome. So that will be yet another bubble gem for us. I think 20 in total now. Yep, quite the collection. So we're all done with this area. I think we're good to continue southeast to explore more of our final region that needs a tower. So that's so exciting. Here we are up here. 
I need to sort of figure out where we're standing at the moment and where we gotta go. I think it would be cool to make our way across Seville Lake and over to that bridge. I guess either way we could go to Turnio Trail or I could go to um, the Skyview Tower here. Maybe let's do the Skyview Tower, jump down, go across this bridge and check out more of Akala. Okay, so we're just gonna fly right back down here to this one path and there should be a big bridge to this crazy tower. Now I think that is where we have scouted out a, um, a Gliok before, so we'll have to be careful because obviously I don't think I'm quite prepared to tackle a Gliok, but what I am prepared to do is explore this area until we eventually, hopefully, find the tower for this region. It's the last tower we need to find so that the entire map of Hyrule is cleared up. And on top of that, we're also after what should be the final memory with the light dragon that we sort of saw a little bit more of last episode. So like there's so much to do in this area. It might seem like we're sort of coming up to the end, but it feels like the list of things to do just gets larger and larger, which in some ways is really exciting. I see a silver moblin over here. Looks like they're protecting the bridge. And there's that Gliok. Oh, so terrifying. Um, let's try this out. So, as it says on the right is the South Lake Akala, and up is the South Akala Stable, which I don't think we've been to that one. We've been to uh, the Foothill Stable. We've sort of kind of been in this area, but actually not really. We've mostly been here in Zoro's Domain, so there's probably a lot to discover around here for sure. And do you see like a lot of ruins and stuff? If there is a well to find, that might be worth looking into. I do see that little sign thing. That's probably a Korok. So I guess we'll go check that out. Whoa, I hear thunder. There's about to be a lightning storm, which is never too good. Um, What's up with this? Do I attack it? I think I just follow it. Um, I'm a little confused on what that arrow means. I have no clue. I don't see any other. Okay, wait, there's another sign here. Uh-oh, here we go. I gotta go ahead and unequip things. Just whatever might explode, I suppose, or whatever. Okay, switch to this one. I don't think my armor attracts it too much. I think it wants me up here. Oh yeah, there we go, awesome. So just on top of this, we've got ourselves another Korok seed. Cool. 11 in total. We don't have enough for any upgrades just yet, but it's one step along the way. So let's go and figure out this bridge over here where I have you to attack. Gotcha. I gotta remember the more we charge, the longer of a distance we got. The monster forces here for the Marauders of Alcala. Was there supposed to be soldiers somewhere that I was supposed to talk to? Maybe. Um, that's usually what happens when there's like a health bar thing like this. So I guess I will do this and then launch at you guys. Boom, that wasn't so bad. If we can back it up a little bit, try to get some friends to help, like you. Oh no, and quickly, and quickly. Uh, There, okay, well you got in the way, but I mean, I guess it's something. Where are you at? I'll jab you down with this stuff as much as possible. The other friends are definitely catching up. I didn't really want to hop on you, so I mean, I'll use that advantage pretty nicely. Once again, I'm having like everybody help me out exa except for the exact Friends, I'm trying to get to help me out here. There we go. I can get that going again. Charge it up, even if I just launch it over to here. Got it, that was a pretty strong strike. Oh, they actually get hit by real lightning too. Doesn't feel so good, does it? Ow, that doesn't feel so good. It just kicked me in the face. Gotta be nicer than that, buddy. Get out of here. Getting over this way then, we'll fight you off a little bit. And I see your silver friend over here. We're knocking you left, right, and center. Let's grab anything you drop before it falls down the hill. And then I probably want that s stick. So I'll drop the rusty halberd, get this instead. Feels pretty good. Oh, okay, that didn't work out so well. Um, and then you just have a bow and arrow. So if I stay away from the kicks, it can knock you over pretty well. There's even more enemies down there that haven't taken notice of us just yet. So we'll deal with that soon, but right now this is working out quite well, so I just wanna keep with it. There we go, come on team, keep it going. Our spear is badly damaged. Let's switch to something else. I got this Soldier 3 Reaper, which doesn't have the most amount of health or damage. There we go, but it gets the job done for the time being. Whoa, didn't want that. Have the other monsters noticed this quite yet? I don't believe they have. Okay, now they might have. Or not, they're just chatting. 
Interesting. Okay, Slam, you have a strong shield there, but... Ooh, okay, here we go. Able to swing quite a lot. This, you know, is just a simple sword, so while it doesn't have a lot of damage, the, the amount of times I can swing it really helps. Gotcha. Gotcha. And that should be all the forces of the monsters knocked out. I don't have... Okay, let's, let's drop this. Got it. And what else do we have? A couple more monster pieces, another shield I don't really need. The sword, maybe. I think I'm good for now. Um, I'll pick up the seared stake, and we will continue marching off this way. Whoa, there's a cool crow. Mountain crow, got a picture already. I'm glad we got through that very challenging, whoa. Very challenging bridge, but there's a lot more. I'm so curious about this giant tower. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry to do this, but I do really need the raw priming. I, I guess that wasn't the gourmet stuff, but I do want to find that at some point. Oh no, I dedicate this monument to the, the memory of the souls lost at the calamity. We've been seeing a lot of those recently. But whoa, you can see there's definitely something going on here. Maybe another source of Misko's treasure. It's raining a lot around here too. The Akala Bridge Ruins. No longer is there a bridge here. Okay, I think we'll be fine to maybe get up. I should get the frog gear on, because I feel like we're about to fall to our doom. If not. Um, uh-oh. Okay, it stopped raining at a perfect time, so we're safe. Hello. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, come on, one more. Ah, you're gone, you're gone. All right, we get a lot of rupees out of that too. Ooh, especially the red rupees. Very nice. Oh, you're coming back. Oh, is it another one? I don't know, it sort of reset. Okay, this is the Akala Citadel Ruins of Akala Highlands. So this is sort of our first time exploring Akala, because that's this whole region, I'm pretty sure. Let's head into this cave. So, another discovery. This is the Akala Citadel Ruins Cave. Whoa. So I'm sure there'll be lots to do in this cave because it's just of this whole ruin area. So there's gotta be a lot of stuff to do. First, I'm just gonna switch over to this rock hammer. Break this stuff open. I can always use more luminous stones, but it looks like there's a lot of paths we can figure out. I guess we should do this one first. This might be where the little frog is. I do see you and you. Just wanted to get rid of them first. Probably could have thrown something now. Maybe that would have been better. Uh, it's not raining anymore, so I can switch over to something else. We need to, whoa, a blue one. I feel like we haven't really seen many blue ones. I mean, enough so that we can do that. We already have the picture of you, but I see you over here. They really aren't too powerful in terms of like actual strength. Okay, gonna get you a little bit with this one. A couple more hits should do the trick. There it is. Don't really need anything else from it, but back over here with the rocks. I think there might be one more enemy around somewhere. At least the music is still going like there is. Oh, there you are. Gotcha. All right. Okay, there's gotta be more then, because there's a treasure chest here, which usually means we need to defeat all the enemies. I just don't quite see any more. This is the entry of the cave. We just found sort of a different path into it. Probably, oh, are they way up there? They gotta be way up there. Oh, it directly overheads. It's a silver one too. Uh-oh, oh, watch out. Gotcha. Come on down here and let's have some fun. Not with this weapon, with another weapon. Uh, let's try first freezing them. There we go, you're frozen. I will just start hitting with the Flux Core 3 Smasher. That was pretty nice. And I'm just gonna start spinning like crazy. That should definitely help out a little bit, especially with you trapped in the corner like that. That was really good. Jump, slam. You have no chance here. A few more hits should do the trick. There it is. So with the silver one done, we get ourselves another treasure chest. Definitely grab all these goodies too. And I guess I'll take that, the rusty Claymore Halberd. What will we get inside of this thing? A guard sword stick. 40 damage on that though, whoa. Um, I guess I'll definitely trade this for that. That's very powerful. Doesn't seem there's anything else to do in this little room. 
I mean, there's gotta be more to do around here. Definitely grab all those goodies. It seems like it just goes up. So, ooh, I see a little cave entrance, so that could be our path forward. I will just toss a bomb flower if I can. And maybe that's where we can find a little, little friend. Gotcha. And boom, bubble gem number 21. Anything else of interest around here before we just try to continually climb up? Oh yeah, another chest, cool. So I definitely wanna grab that where we get the soldier broadsword halberd for 19 damage. Isn't the best, I think I'll leave it. For another traveler to find, right? And this is where we came in from before. So what happens, actually is it? I don't know if it is. Gonna all turn around. No, it was, it was. So what happens if I just ascend up from here? Maybe I'll get to the top of the castle. That would be pretty convenient. And we're swimming for a good moment here, so that really could be the case. Uh, keep going. Looks like we're at the top to me. This area might be easier to sort of figure out once we actually get the tower, just because it's sort of hard to tell exactly what we can get to with how the map currently is. But let's go ahead and get this shrine. The shrine would be a really useful one to have, the Damazuin Shrine of the Akala Highlands. Oh, and there's cannons over here? Whoa, so cool. So, guess some kind of crazy outpost here at some point. Let's go and get started with this shrine now. Should be fun. All right, we have entered the, what was it, the Damazuin Shrine, a prone pathway. So, let's get to it then. What exactly does that mean, a prone pathway? Right now. Pretty obviously, we just ascend up here. Don't see really anything else to do. Whoa, whoa, that one was weird. It didn't have like the little fancy swishy cutscene. Huh, maybe just because of the camera angle of it? I haven't seen that before. What's going on with this thing? We can turn this whole thing around. Whoa, okay. And I guess our goal is just to get to the top. I'm sure we're also looking for a treasure chest somewhere, so we can also spin it this way. Oh, there's a the treasure chest. Okay, um, well now it's gonna be upside down. There's another treasure chest too. Could I just, no, I can't. Interesting. Try that one more time. Cause that one's just gonna be on the floor, so I definitely can't just, oh I can. There's that one pretty easily. 10 arrows there. So could I hmm, reverse this at all? That'd be very convenient. Doesn't seem like it. So if I wanna get that one, I'm gonna have to go all the way around again, which should be fine. I sort of have a plan for it, so hit it again. So we got that chest, it's just that one. So we'll do that. Run all the way over to this corner. I almost fell to my doom there. That would not have been good. Uh, hit this like this, and then we just walk over. There's another other chest there. I didn't see that before. So we can get this one. And we get a mighty Zonite shield. 50 defense sounds pretty darn nice, but surprisingly, isn't that much. Okay, uh, so what happens if I just try to stand on the chest? That might be a good way to try to get over there. Seems like it. Okay, glide. I didn't really glide exactly the way I wanted to, but we should be fine with just landing here, getting like this, and getting our third treasure chest for this shrine, a Zonai charge. That was honestly maybe the least exciting one. Okay, back up, here we go. And now we just have to find our way out of here, which a lot of options for doing that. I mean, you can see that there's already, if we could just find our way on top, right? Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess for right now, I'm gonna continue using arrows to hit this thing. And we'll end up here, which isn't so bad, but I have a feeling this isn't really gonna get us anywhere. So I really want to be on top of it, right? So maybe I 
Do that again, there's a big pile of arrows there now. Sort of silly. Yeah. Okay. This one seems more advantageous, I guess. You know what? I don't know. Can I climb this wall? No. I wonder if I can make a crazy jump over the side of it. <laughs> Not quite what I wanted, but maybe. I could be totally overthinking this too. It's really hard to say for now. I mean, I guess that, okay, that platform right there is actually probably our ticket for this whole thing. So let me grab all the arrows back. How do I get to that one? Um, I think what I gotta do, cause this rotates it a different direction. Yeah. Whoa, don't wanna push me off. See that tall platform? Sort of what I want, but now the issue is that I can't get in. So let me actually, I was sort of right before. Okay, I'll let it rotate one more time. Is it just gonna continually rotate now forever? No. So where is the platform now? This one is super tricky to keep in mind, but I think what I wanna do, is now that I'm inside of it, hit that. Then, hit this one at the same time. Whoa, a little dizzying, a little dizzying. Uh, well, don't take any fall damage. And here's where maybe I'm in a bit of an issue, is that it would be better if it was facing the other way, because what do I do here? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Um, this is actually really a little confusing. <laughs> How can I do this? Um, if I land back over here, I might be able to get a couple of sneaky shots in. Come on. I know I'm wasting a lot of arrows here. Come on. Let me use the other bow. Let me use this one, the charge up. I don't think it charges up here. No, that it does, it does. I want this to rotate it around. I think one more time. There's gotta be like a significantly easier way to do this that I'm totally overlooking. That's just the nature of these shrines sometimes. It's just what I do. Uh, so now this is sort of facing the opposite direction, which is what we wanted. Ah, it would have been good. Okay, it's gonna go back. Oh, perfect, perfect. This is my opportunity. No, 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 no. Wait, I I'm ready for you to go the other way again. Please, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. So hopefully it'll go one more time if I just hit it again. Awesome. And we should be on top of this thing. Now the question is, what do I do from here? I mean, I guess I can just ascend. There we go. Once we're on top of it, that sort of solves all of our problems. Now I just jump over to the staircase without falling and we do it. Awesome. Crazy puzzle with that one, what do you say? Oh my gosh. I'm glad we got through it though. So that was the Damazuin Shrine and a nice one to have on top of the Akala Ruins. We can explore more of the area now. All right, we've made our way out of that shrine and as you can see, we're back out here on top of the ruins. There's a lot going on here that I'm really curious to explore. This is just really getting exciting to me because I mean, obviously there's that scary Gliak over there, but there's so much to find in this direction. There's a shrine there, a shrine down that way, which is where the uh, tear had dropped. There's a lot going on. So I really wanna get to all that as soon as we can, but I think it's still worth it to explore diligently. So if we can just find some extra stuff around while we get there, that'd be good. Cause we, do, we need to explore all this eventually anyways. Might as well do it while we're on our way. Okay, popping up here. Gonna break these open. Didn't really get too much for it. I don't know if there's really gonna be, uh, ah, oh no, not you guys again. Um, What do I wanna do here? I think I want to, no, not do that. Okay, we need to make some distance here and fast, like really fast. Even if I have to just climb up here really fast, I don't know if that thing can climb. Oh, it might be able to quickly, quickly, quickly. Boom, and then go for it. Like that, like this. Maybe switch bows to something more productive. Uh, you wanna talk about productivity. This is it. <laughs> okay, got it. They're not gonna appreciate that too much. I'm gonna toss this thing over there and that definitely damages down a couple more of them. I do see this guard guard sword stick that we got before. 
and found Phantom Ganon is popping up somewhere. We're sort of in a crowded spot to fight him, but I do get him. Okay. Got him again. Oh, this set does so much damage. Such a good weapon. Such a good weapon. Ow. Okay, not as much anymore because I'm missing the headshots, but I'll get up over here. We will try to dodge it and then go, 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 go. That was really good. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, okay. Come on, just a couple more hits. We are actually making such quick work of you. Unfortunately, I do lose the uh, the combination thing there, so maybe I'll just, first off, this is almost broken. Toss out your face. Um, and then go in there with a the silver boss, Boko Axe, for a couple more hits. That's all we needed, and we were able to make it work. Awesome, so let's definitely take this Gloom Spear, um, Dark Clump, another Dark Clump, and then Demon King's Bow if we needed it, but I don't think we do. Yeah, I don't think we do. I mean, it's better than that, but this one's sort of a special case's weapon. So that was really cool. And there's a treasure chest in here too, so now that we have defeated that Phantom Ganon, I think it's worth it to explore around. We get a durability up Royal Guard Spear. That is worth it. So let's see what I can maybe drop. Right now, there's not too much I actually wanna drop. Um, Maybe this Rusty Halberd, because I can combo something much better with it. Uh, was there anything else around here? Hold on, let me move this out of the way, because it looks like there might have been. Can I read this book? No. Okay, well, I'm very curious about the rest of this area. There's gotta be some more stuff around here. I do think with this one, I should probably combine something with it so that we can make another hammer. But I'm not seeing too much in that regard for the time being. Okay, back over here. What about on top? of this part of the building. Well, the sun's rising too. I don't I don't see too much. So that's that one box. I think we really did a good job clearing this out. Okay, cool. So one thing I wanna do is just get on top of like a little ridge like this and just sort of scout out, there's the tower. That's really what I was looking for and look at all this stuff here. That is the town, Terrytown or whatever. Is there somebody down here? Well, there's some monsters, but. I guess it still counts as somebody. Uh, we'll fight you a little bit. Let me switch over to a weapon a little bit more powerful. Use up some of my stamina this way, and then we'll get down there and fight you. What do I have to fight at the moment? I definitely need to equip some better weapons in or combine more stuff, but we can need this Flux Core 3 Smasher because it's all of us versus the one of you. So, oh, I dodged it. That was perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna swing on you as much as I can. It doesn't do a ton because, you know, it's a slower weapon. But we did pretty good there. And then, oh, come on. Oh, man. that was close, but they totally missed. We're able to take advantage and defeat them. Cool, great. And I know about you over here, but not now. I think we'll probably have like an episode fighting on the Gleox, have an episode fighting on the dragons, like just sort of like bundle all that together if we can. For now though, I guess we're going back down the staircase this way. I'm so curious about the town and everything. Um, but for right now, the tower is what I'm after. I'm also curious just to see wherever else the staircase leads, but I don't know if it'll lead anywhere too important. And that's the, the shrine we had before, right? This one? No, that's a different shrine. And that's a different stable. So definitely some stuff to do around there. Uh, I will grab an arrow. I guess I'll bust this open for another era. Um, it looked like there was a little bit more up here, but is this just where we came from? I suppose not. These cubes, I remember these cubes, because what I would do in Breath of the Wild is I'll just smush everyone with these. I don't think they had the same effect around here. Good times, good times. That was like my best way of attacking any foe. So I guess we will Try to make our way down like this. I would like to at least end up at the, the Skyview Tower for today. But that means that we still have a lot to do, so let's keep at it. I will jump and slam you like that. Um, okay, uh, that's really not what I was intending. Um, wanted to switch weapons. Maybe we could try this Soldier 4 Blade. Thank you, okay, not thank you. Give me my weapon back, and then slam you one more time. I might, I might be in trouble here. Can I please eat some food? Uh, here, we'll just eat up the basic stuff because it definitely fills the tummy a little bit. There we go, we're basically at full. One more, there we go. Now, oh, come on. 
<laughs> so silly. Uh, grab all that stuff then. And what are we doing over here? Okay. Not what I wanted. And I think it just sort of starts over here, right? Yeah, that's the bridge we climbed up before. So not too much for us to do over here. I wanna try to get to that uh, thing over this way. So we have ourselves another stable. I would like to get to it and just sort of get a little bit acquainted with the people here. So the South Akala Stable here in the Akala Highlands. I wonder if Penn will be here. Will there be another quest or maybe this one will be a bit more peaceful. Oh, it's Beetle. I haven't caught up with Beetle in a bit. Hey, I'm delighted to see you again. Just delighted. Well then, can I attempt you to buy or are you selling today? What have you got? I have lots of good stuff. Take your time. Um, Nothing we really need though. So thanks for your business. Do you need anything else? Not really. Okay, so. I do see Addison over here. What do we do? This one already has something sort of pre-built. Interesting. I think I have an idea. What I would like to do is maybe grab this. Grab one of these. Put it in the center. Gotta make sure it's nice and even. And then another one. Put this one in the center. And then one more. Put that one on the left side. And then we can put that on top and mix a little house. <laughs> and then we can live in it. No, uh, we can uh, put that against it maybe. That's my idea, at least. Is just to do something like this. And see if that's enough to keep it there. I might need to put a little something underneath it so that I can work on this angle because of course everything has to be on a slope. So what if I just did this, get up again, attached it like that, and then just turn the whole thing around. It's sort of working, sort of, kind of. I mean, maybe that's enough, maybe it isn't. Really get it up there. Uh, okay, we'll try it. It's probably gonna fall over and not count. Try it and go. I mean, if you're happy with it, I'm happy with it. He's happy with it. Okay, excellent. We made a little house and held up the sign. Perfect, I agree. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. So we get 20 rupees as per usual, some energizing seafood rice balls, and then lastly, sleepover ticket. All right, yet another sign helped out. I would like to go over here though. Whoa, have we taken a picture of these sheep? We haven't, these are the Highland sheep. And, oh, there's Penn. All right. Ooh, cool photo, cool photo. Of course, we've taken a picture of these horses, because yeah, they're horses, but I'll talk to you. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. Dream homes, the envy of every son. Oh, did you hear me singing? How embarrassing. I figured it was so early, no one would be around. Ah. That jingle's been stuck in my head ever since I heard that Hudson Construction started making dream homes. Someday, I hope I can make the trip east to Terrytown and order a dream home of my own. Meeting the, that special someone settling down in a nice big house and growing gray together, it's all I've ever wanted. Ah. I'm smiling just imagining it. Of course, by, before I buy a home, I need to figure out the special someone part of the equation. I told Papa to put up a picture of the Unity Bell for some good luck in my dating life. I wonder if he's done it. He's my father. Shouldn't he be doing his best to help me find a partner who ki has kind eyes and knows how to bake? I guess so. Good luck in your pursuit. Uh, so yeah, I guess we'll check out this area. We'll, we'll talk to Penn in a moment. And welcome, you found yourself at South Akala Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your bony points. All right, so if we take a nap here, we'll actually already earn up our reward. Now then, once again, oh. welcome, Link. Do you want to register a horse or take one out for a ride? Uh, neither. I almost forgot, have you stopped by the stable in the Northeast? Rumor has it there's a horse god moved to that neck of the woods. I've heard that he's very powerful. He can even resurrect a horse. Isn't that amazing? I bet anyone who appreciates horses would be happy to have him around. Oh. Huh, I wish he'd settle a little closer to our stable. All the other stables are jealous, but I, I mean, we're heading that way, so I'm excited to see it. For right now, let's just spend a night here, and we'll just wake up the next morning. Um, okay. So same thing as per usual, which is a Melania bed, 
We'll hear from Melania. We'll get an extra ticket out of this or extra point out of this, so we'll be able to get some kind of reward. Okay, I am Melania, the god of horses. I'm on the border separating the Cluda's east from its west. There is a place called Bobinga Forest. There, many excellent seeds roam wild and free. Cool, so I guess if we needed some extra horses, we can find some there. But it's time for a new day. Good morning, how are you? Did you hear a message? As thanks for lodging with us, we present you with one point, and that point will get us a reward. Uh. Oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep your keep the ledger. Then call me oh. over. The headlines say the Demon King is returning. I feel like I need to prepare for the worst, but what can I do? All you can do is your best. All right, so let's receive a reward. Hi. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? For 26 points, you can get an extravagant saddle. Nice, the extravagant saddle. This ornamental saddle is used in festivals. The delicate embroidery and arrangement of gems leaves a lasting impression. It's perfect for those who want to stand out. Oh. It comes with an, the extravagant bridle, so here's that as well. The extravagant bridle. Most often used in festivals, this gem of a bridle is decorated with some charming little feathers. It's great for adding just a splash of color to any horse. If you save up just four more points, oh. Oh, ho, 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 you'll be able to register one additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. Awesome, so let's go and talk to some of the people around here. Oh. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? What's oh. the news? Oh, there's an update on the unexpected equine escape, or equine, I think? Unexpected equine escape from Snowfield Stable. Story from earlier. Oh yeah, that was Zelda's golden horse. Princess Zelda's favorite horse has been recovered without incident. The cause of its flight remains unknown. Mom? Ah, I'm so relieved to read that. I was worried for that poor horse, wandering the snowy wilds all alone. But what made it run off in the first place? The article doesn't even speculate. Uh... I always read every word of these newspapers. Let's hear the ah. other stories. Bring your own one-of-a-kind dream home to life. If you're looking to build a home of your own, seek out Hudson Construction in Terrytown. Terrytown? That's on Akala, I think. Off in Northeast Hyrule? Maybe I should pay them a visit. Mm. I always read every word of these newspapers, oh. that's great. Wasn't there a shop nearby that takes apart stuck together weapons and shields and stuff? I think it's in Terrytown. They say that it's east of here. Maybe I'll head to that way at some point. Okay, and what about you? Ah. Hmm? Oh, hello. Welcome to South Akala Stable. Sorry, I was lost in thought there. I was wondering why so many people are so interested in that. That beast is the stuff of rumors and is apparently found in the South. Mm -hmm. A huge tusked creature. <laughs> it's gotta be made up, right? Nobody in Akala's even seen its footprints, let alone the thing itself. Mm -hmm. My little sister Gleema won't stop talking about that so-called Kuko Oracle on the hill behind the stable. I don't buy it personally. There's no way a cuckoo can talk. Why is everybody so quick to believe the silliest things? Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to waste your time with, with dumb gossip. I better get back to work. Take it easy. Huh. Well, there might be some truth to the rumor. You never know. Maybe we'll go investigate soon, but ah, Link, has that empty frame caught your eye? It definitely has. We stable owners are going to be putting paintings on display for everyone to enjoy. The stable association figured it'd be a good idea for us to hang the frames first to get ready. I asked a family, or my family, what sort of picture we should put up. We finally decided. Have you seen the Unity Bell in Terrytown over in the east? The story goes that if two people ring it together, their love will last forever. All sorts of couples pay it a visit. Anyway, I think it would be a nice it would be nice to paint a picture of the Unity Bell and hang it there at the stable. All four of my daughters think it would look perfect on the wall too. Mm. But I really need to go see if I'm going to need to go see it if I'm going to paint it accurately. And well, work is far too busy for me to get away. Of course, if I had a picture of the bell in front of me, I could just use that as reference. Well, we'll definitely help out with a picture for South Akala Stable. Dimitri, the owner of South Akala Stable, wants to hang a painting of the Unity Bell in Terrytown. Maybe there's a way to take a picture of it and show Dimitri. So we'll probably get all those picture quests done sort of like at once, in one big swoop, just run around Hyrule and get all those pictures that we need. But for the time being, I do see another little guy that needs our help over there. Maybe I'll walk over to him later. Uh, but I guess there's a few more people to talk to. Oh, hi. This is a cute cuckoo. 
Is this like a different one? No, it's not. I thought that maybe it would be like a, a rooster of some sort. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Welcome to South Bacala Seba. <laughs> Just kidding, a bit of sheep humor for you. The place that you're at is actually called South Akala Stable. Since we've always had so many sheep here, some visitors started calling us the Sheep Stable. So I thought, why not embrace it? And I started taking extra good care of the sheep. <laughs> Before I knew it, even more showed up. It was like a woolly invasion. And no complaints from me, I think they're just adorable. Aww. Sadly, while I was busy making this place an utopia, our cuckoo went missing. Aww. That poor sweet bird always hated being alone. She wouldn't lay any eggs unless one of us was nearby. I hate to think how scared and lonely she must be. Sometimes I swear I hear, hear a sad squawking sound and it wakes me up. That must be a dream. Okay, well, maybe we can help with that one. I'll talk to you too. Hi, Pen. Hey, look at you, partner. Up at sunup scouting out leads. You remind me of me. Ah. So, how about it? Tell me you've got something we can work with, no? I've got nothing either. Not a chirp, not a warble. Even if I strain the old ear holes, no sir, not the slightest peep. Hmm. So, what to do when our leads go quiet and luck runs out? Suppose we've got a one last resort, a prophecy. A prophecy? Oh. oh, yes, it's come to that. Good thing there's one heck of a cuckoo around here that are, speaks prophecy. I mean, we know it's hard to believe, but you've got to wonder. We over there, huh? Look at that tree there, the one way up on that hill. They say folks are lining up to hear those prophecies every day, hoping to have their fortunes told. Mm. I know what you're thinking, seasoned reporter like me hoping to get a lead from actual poultry? Well, hear me out. Those that flock up there for their fortunes, they might know the real story here. Interview them. The all-clucking cuckoo. Penn scoured near South Akala Stable for new leads, but couldn't find any. He thought it'd, poss it'd possibly be a good idea to ask a cuckoo who speaks prophecy for leads. The bird is on the hill behind the stable, under a large tree. Okay, so this will be the one that we're after for now. I guess we'll just run right up there. I don't see why not. There's some kind of cuckoo that will speak a prophecy. That's all we really know. And, oh yeah, here we go, prophecy. Prophecy. Hi. Welcome to South Akala Stable. Brr. Do you like horses? I used to like bugs when I was little, but now I like horses the best. I'm practicing so I can be a horsey when I grow up. Yay. Oh. Hey, hey, mister, did you come here to, to all clucking cuckoo's prophecies? I came to ask if I'm going to be a horsey when I grow up, but since the all clucking cuckoo is so popular, the wait is super long. Huh, well maybe we can help out with that, Klima. The all clucking cuckoo. Hi. Hey there, fella. So, checking in my fancy duds, I bet. Stylish, right? I'm a little late to fashion and all that, but my eyes are wide open now. I was heading east for Terrytown since I had heard celebrity designer Cece was influenced by someone there. But when I heard about the Oracle here, I had to stop by and see for myself if it's the real deal. Uh -huh. And buddy, it's real as can be. Here's the prophecy I got. On a remote island to the northeast, thou will find great fortune. Terrytown will have to wait. I have an island to go to. I just hope Great Fortune means a treasure trove of clothes. I think I know what they're talking about. If it's anything like Breath of the Wild, way over this way there was an island or something that we had to survive on, right? I think that was over here. Maybe it was down this way. Actually, maybe I, I might be thinking of this one. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, My true love? Hmm, should I really ask about that? No, maybe not. But then again, hmm? Are you here for a prophecy from the all-clucking cuckoo? Get ready for your life to change. They say the cuckoo's words are always come true. Actually, do you want to take my place in line? I have a lot of questions and I need time to sort out which to ask. Really, you could be doing me a favor. Go ahead. All right, sure. Hi. So they're just clucking. Thy name. What is thy name? Ah, I sense it. You are Link. And you're searching for someone. Ah, uh, yes, Princess Zelda. Huh, it's actually talking. I know all. And what I know is that thou wilt face trials that will reveal much to you. So, will thou take these trials? I'll try it. Very well. The first trial is. Get to the top of that stable's head within the time limit. Walk, run, fly, whatever it takes. Ready yourself. Okay, three. Two, one, go! 
The all clicking cuckoo also updated. I'm really curious. You went to a hill near South Akala Stable where a cuckoo who talks and speaks prophecy actually exists. It is said that if you face some trials, it would somehow lead to more information about Princess Zelda. And if there's one thing that is for certain, it's that I want to, oh no, I, okay. I got a little confused there because uh, we don't have tool and helping us out. Can I ascend up this? Can I even climb up this thing? Oh no, I can. Okay, that's good. Uh, now this, maybe not as much, but I can maybe ascend up it, right? Uh, here, we got 22 seconds remaining, so it's still worth it to hustle even though we're pretty close. But I will do just about anything. Um, oh my goodness, uh, excuse me, uh, to get to Princess Zelda. So let's just try to get up here and try that again. I was hoping, you know, Twins. Best of one would be helpful. Yeah, before Link just like jumped out the other direction, which just was not helpful. Okay, I'm almost at the top. Do I have to ascend through this too? Here, come on, I only have less than 10 seconds remaining. All right, you finished. Now what? <laughs> Are we gonna be able to see Princess Zelda? Good job with that trial. I'd say I'm impressed, but I already knew that was going to happen, so. Thou, yes, thou, ready to face the next trial, only if thou overcome it, will thou find what thou seeketh. So, are you going to try it, or what? I'll try it. Very well. The second trial is, bring three logs here within the time limit. Lots of trees around here, any of them will do the job. Three logs, just do whatever it takes to get them here. Cluckety cluck cluck, <laughs> ready yourself. Three, two, one, let's start again. We have another update, which of course is going to say, um, after you completed the first trial, the prophecy speaking Kuko said that you had to face a second trial. You agreed and now you must complete it. If you do, you will finally get that information about Princess Zelda. Okay, so this is the last quest. Let's get over here. We needed three pieces of wood apparently. So if I could just get over to this one real fast, I need to switch to a sword that'll actually cut this stuff down. Um, let's just try this real clean more. One, two, three. Could I have just brought stuff out of my inventory, by the way? I don't know. Um, there's two. I really don't know. So maybe I'll just bring this stuff up and then drop it out of my inventory. Would that count? I feel like that's cheating. I feel like the idea was to actually pick them up. Okay, I have three of them. I already had three, but I might as well try this. I feel like this is cheating. I'm supposed to carry them up, right? So if I go over here and I go, one, two, three, and drop. Did that count? What are you doing? If you don't hurry, you won't make it. Ah, oh, see, that didn't count. Uh, I'm very confused. Go back to the adventure log, let's see. It doesn't actually say what the, the challenge is there. So I guess what I could have done, right? And what I should have done. Get one of these, and then I like probably want to combine it and just carry it up. So there's two pieces right there. I'm definitely gonna have to reset, which is very unfortunate, but I'm down to 20 seconds. I just don't think we have enough time, but I will try. So I just pick this one up, put it over here, and combine it with these two. And in theory, I could just carry this up, right? If I had enough time, but looks like we're out of just that, so. I guess I'll have to leave it the time is up. Come back. What's wrong? Thou won't get any closer to what thou ultimately seeketh that way. How about it? Take the trial again? Sure. Very well. Okay, bring me three logs and do it before time runs out. Okay. So this time the trees come back too. Ready yourself. All ready, three, two, one, and start. So now that I know what I'm up to, it should make it easier. I just wanna plop down here and knock this one down. Got it. This is unfortunately badly damaged, but I can pick that up and then maybe, ah, okay. Do I have any other swords here that would actually, I know I probably shouldn't, but I just wanna knock this stuff down as soon as possible. That's one more. This time I didn't get lucky and got two out of one, you know? So, there we go. So what I'll do is I will switch to the Ultra Hand. Pick this thing up, go over here, attach, grab it again, pick it up, uh, attach, and then 
No, I, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, come on. What if I just do that and do that? I didn't mean to pick it up. I was trying to attach them. What a pain. Especially since, because I'm using my weapon durability for all this. Okay, so in theory, what I would have to just do now is rush this stuff over up the mountain any way possible. So just go, 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 like this. And it seems to be working pretty well. I really hope this counts. If not, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Come on, come on. Is that good enough? No, are you serious? Am I, am I getting this mixed up because it's bundles of wood and not logs? I think so, I think that's what I'm mixing up. Oh. Okay, I thought this whole time I was supposed to just be bringing over the, I think I have to bring over the actual tree trunk. So I need to do three of those. So I'm doing the right thing, just the wrong way. <laughs> so this time, you know, this weapon is specifically sharp. So it's not too bad just to be able to do that. I'll grab this acorn, cause sure, why not? Instead of getting the wood from it, I need the logs from it. So there we go. Now I understand. I got it all figured out. We'll just do this, attach this one and then bring all of that over there. I think what would be a little bit faster is if we could just line this up about here. And then hopefully it won't slide down too much because then we can just climb up this way, turn back around, grab it again, and keep going up the hill. Perfect, see this is what I was supposed to do. This whole time, I was just being profoundly silly. So there we go, three logs, you finished. Cause it's not really a log, that's still like the entire tree. I mean, I guess it's still a log, yeah, but. I don't know. So, you tired yet or what? You've got to be worn out. Well, it's been entertaining. So naive, so trusting. I can't believe you fell for this. Oh no. A talking cuckoo? Ridiculous. Now that you're worn out, we've got you right where we want you. Everyone, get him and finish the job. Oh no, it's you guys again. The all clunking Kuko ended up being, of course, a Yiga trap. You can put in the trials that the prophecy speaking Kuko put before you, only to learn it was a Yiga trap. They wanted to exhaust you with needless work and then attack. All right, well, we'll see if that's gonna be the case. I knock out one straight away. They try to combo me back down now. Okay, ready? Gotcha. Well, luckily the Yiga clan just isn't very strong, so it isn't too hard just to Go like that for the most part. And then you're gonna try to swing at me, I swing right back, and we're able to defeat you. <laughs> Interesting battle for sure. We'll let you off easy for now, but don't you get used to it. We won't hold back next time. Be prepared. Oh no. All right, well there we go. Defeated the Yiga clan and solved another interesting puzzle. Hey, there's my partner. Ah. I was just giving a good long think to the all clucking cuckoo situation when I saw everyone running around the tree here. So what's the story, kid? It was the Yiga clan all along. Uh-huh, I see. Well, I had a suspicion that a cuckoo couldn't yap to save its life, but I didn't suspect this was a Yiga clan trap. Those chumps really knew how to lure us in by mentioning Princess Zelda. Guess we walked right into that one. Oh. But at least this'll make one heck of a newspaper story. All those who put their faith in that cuckoo's prophecies People need to know the truth, or else they'll fa fall for more of these lies in the future. Oracles, my tail feathers. Well, or well, we've worked together to chase eight of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Just as I expected, partner. Tracy made the right call bringing you on. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. You get another 100 rupees there with the silver. Oh, that's right, Tracy had nothing but nice things to say about you, partner. Seems like there's a little extra something in your compensation this time around. No surprises there, so it's actually 120. Ah. Anyway, get a load of you, giving us a big scoop of, and those Yiga dolts, a healthy clobbering on the same day. Not bad for a day's work. You keep that up and I'll have no choice but to keep you on as my partner for a long, long time. But enough crowing. If I want to meet my deadline, I'd better get back to the office and start writing this up. See ya, kid. Ah. So long. All right, see ya. And the all clucking cuckoo is completed. The prophecy speaking cuckoo was a ruse created by the Yiga clan to lure you to your doom. When Penn heard your report, he said it'd make a great story for the newspaper. He's going to write about what happened to Warren readers about false oracles. What a story. 
So that was quite the exciting adventure. We've done quite a lot today near this Akala region, but there's still so much more to explore. So I think that maybe we should end it off there. We'll do the South Akala stable. Um, little, what's it called? Well, there's another cuckoo down here. Hey buddy, are you any different? No, what are you, what, can I help you? Poor thing got stuck down here. I don't know how I could help them up though. Uh, doesn't seem like there's much else to do around here. It's just the one cuckoo. And they just return to this area. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't really see an easy way to get them back home. I mean, maybe I could just pick them up and climb the ladder. I'm doubtful, but it's potentially possible. No, nah, not really. Okay, I don't know how to help you. Maybe there's a way at some point, but for right now, we'll just believe you. We find the the the, the uh, well technically. So as long as nobody else has anything else to say, which they might. Like, oh yeah, you trot trot trot. <laughs> oh yeah, you're trying to pretend to be a horse. Oh hey, Mister. Did you get a prophecy? I really wanted to talk to the little cuckoo who gives prophecies. I was going to ask him I'm, if I'm going to be a horsey when I grow up, but I wasn't there. Weird. That's okay. Yeah, I, I know if I practice, I'll become a horsey eventually. Hey, <laughs> well, good luck with that. Okay, so I don't know if any of these people have anything new to say. Rumored beast. Hi there. Have you been to any other stables? There's talk going from stable to stable about some rumored beast. We hung a picture up, up a picture of it. See? I mean, nobody in a call has ever seen the thing. Not even its footprints. There's this rumor going around about a horse god appearing in Isakala stable to the northeast. They say it can revive dead horses. Pfft. Why is everyone so quick to believe the silliest things? There's lots of rumors floating around at stables. Be careful what you believe. I mean, most of it has at least some element of truth to it. So hopefully we can continue exploring more of the Akala region. I think we'll go for that one tower. We'll go to Terrytown. There's still so much more to do in this area and I can't wait to do it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.